The year is 2050. Bob has to get to work. He takes his breakfast, coffee, and newspaper and gets in his car. While the car drives him to work, Bob has time to enjoy his breakfast and read the paper. This is just one example of the positive impact automated vehicles could have on our daily life. Of course, it will be a while until this is possible. Here at the Research Lab Automated Driving Delft, or RAD for short, the first steps are being taken towards this future. Radical. The Research Lab Automated Driving Delft allows us to study uh, automated driving interaction with other traffic. So we want to learn in a safe environment, but realistically as, uh, as possible, how, for instance, uh, pedestrians and cyclists are going to respond to uh, automated vehicles. I'm chief engineer of the VPOT. Uh, the VPOT is a self-driving shuttle and we developed that uh, for the province of Gelderland. There's a lot of technical challenges uh, for self-driving, but there's also a lot of non-technical challenges. Uh, amongst those are uh, regulatory challenges, insurance, uh, distraction of people, and there is ethical challenges, uh, for example, uh, you're driving and uh, you're uh, approaching a crossing where people are crossing but they're ignoring a red light and because they ignored the red light you didn't see it coming the situation in time and you can't brake anymore so you should hit you would hit those people your alternative would be to swerve to the other side of the road and there's also people crossing there but there's a green light now intuitively you would say okay the red light people are wrong but Imagine that they are with four and the other side is only one person. Will you still make the same choice? How do you weigh this? Is there a way to define an equation there? And who is about to decide uh, these things? I think the end picture is uh, we want to have good solutions for urban mobility. So um, we think that uh, by sharing automated vehicles in an urban context, uh, also connecting to public transport, um, having shared space with pedestrians and, and cyclists, this will give uh, a much higher quality of uh, living in, uh, in cities. And I think that's the uh, ultimate goal that we would like to pursue.